Welcome to Spotlighting Paradise. I'm your host, Henry White. I have a great show on tap for you today. My guest is entrepreneur extraordinaire. Her name is Maria Smith, and she is the creator and designer of the Bounce Program, which is an Australian-based training program. And she's actually visiting us from down under from Australia. And my co-host today is someone who you're all familiar with. Uh, she's a great friend of mine and a friend to the show. Um, you'll know her from STEM Power and the Econundrums, um, Amy Mosier. So welcome you both to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so this is, um, I'm, I'm very excited here today because uh, for a couple of reasons. One is I, um, I'm just honored to have you, Maria, come, and, and I know you're on this tour uh, of the state and talking about the Bounce Program, which we'll be getting into in a few minutes, but today is actually the eve of a very historic time in the United States, and Amy, I think you want to say a little something about that. Right. I think it's it's just an incredible, Henry, and thanks for having us on the show. And, you know, I'm just so glad to be back here in Northampton. Um, tomorrow, as we all know, it's, it's the presidential election in the United States. And what I wanted to say, given the topic that we're talking about here today, is really, you know, what it takes to get people back to work in these difficult times. And regardless of who wins tomorrow, who will be the next president of the U.S. Um, the conversation that we're in here today is really exciting and it's one that I'm in Absolutely. pretty much every day and it's really looking at what works. What is it that's going to re-inspire people, especially who have been long-term unemployed Absolutely. and you know, get the nation back to work and <coughs> exactly. really revive people's spirit Thank, and sense yeah, of hope. So Absolutely. I'm thrilled and to that's, be here. That's, thanks for that. And sure. that's been a topic of conversation and debate lately with both our presidential candidates. Uh, one of the things I also wanted to uh, mention is that Maria also is an author of uh, this book, which is uh, The Guide to Getting the Job You Want. So um, you'll hear more about uh, what the Bounce Training Program is, and I would encourage you to check this book out. So let's get right into it, Maria. Um, what is the Bounce Program? Okay, well, first of all, thank you for having me here because this is really exciting and um, it's amazing to be here at this time. It really is, and mm. it's such a buzz to be here. So, look, essentially the Bounce Program is uh, a program that allows people to, it's the thing you do before the thing you do. Right. So you get to get in there and understand who you are and who you are being in the world. And it's an opportunity to look at the things that you value, your goals, and how to really clarify your life. So. A lot of what's in there is um, life skills or what we really like to call success, success, success skills. Success skills, yeah. right. So it actually... Now, is that you, um, a little different from soft skills or so, somewhat related? Yeah, but it's soft skills. Success, yeah, okay. another word is soft skills. So right. we, we really like to talk to them as if they're success skills. Because essentially they're the keys to getting you the job you want and mm -hmm. the life you want. So we really begin to spend time understanding you know, the things in the past that maybe have or haven't worked, we understand ourselves. So an identity of who we are and how our communications affecting our world in good and bad ways. Wow. Yeah, so it's cool stuff. Yeah, it sounds yeah. very exciting. Mm. Now, who is your target population on this? Well, so the program's been running for six and a half years in Australia. And um, we've had about 3,000 people go through the program. And we've um, specifically worked with long-term unemployed. So really highly disengaged mm -hmm. um, people that have been unemployed for you know anywhere from two to 20 years Wow! and we've had amazing results with um, clients that have come in that really have been lost in terms of where they're going in life with no direction no sense of purpose or passion and just no sense of who they are so uh, the results have been outstanding from people getting into the jobs of their dreams mm -hmm. to people just getting a job like literally getting right. a now job that gets them to the next step to people going into training and for some people, the outcome has been connecting to other people and bringing together a community of right. people as well. So uh, we've got some amazing stories. And I originally had started delivering the program for three years. I designed and developed the program. Wow. How did you get started in, mm. in the Bounce program? Well, uh, yeah, look, it's a it's a great story. I actually was living in Seattle for 15 years. In right. Fact. Okay. Yeah. So you lived in the States yeah, before. I did. Okay. I All lived right. here. So and um, that's where a lot of my training came in. And um, I did a lot of motivational training and 
uh, training and recruitment and things across the United States. Really? Yeah, for a large telco. Oh, okay. And, um, and then uh, I actually went back over to the uh, back over to Australia. And that, went, were you originally? Are you originally? Yeah, from, born and raised, born and in, raised Australia, in Australia. Okay, but, um, I can't tell by your accent. Yeah, no, but. no, because I sound like I'm from Boston. I really do. Um, yeah, so I I ended up going back because I had my son here in the states. Okay. And went back home and just decided it was time to go back home. And I actually started um, my company when my son was eight months old. And, wow. uh, and I'm not really sure why I decided to raise a child on my own and start a company all of a sudden, but it just happened that way and it was an amazing inspiration. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I actually went through a government funded program back in Australia that was about starting your own business. Mm -hmm. And then I was approached to run motivational training. And so I created a four day motivational seminar right. that got amazing results, which then led to a government department asking me to create a six week program that was soft skills based, wow. um, but it had laid in there um, like job search skills as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, how to get the job you want. So I created and designed what is now the Bounce program. Right. Um, and now currently there are 20 trainers that deliver the program across the state of Victoria. Um, I'm based uh, near Melbourne. And uh, so, yeah, 20 trainers are actually delivering the program. Wow. And it's been an amazing success story that personally I would never have thought right. could have taken off. Um, and you know, here I am now getting to talk about Absolutely. the program in the US. And what better yeah. representative as well. I mean, look yeah. how you guys started. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this because I, you know, I did my little, little research and I've been yeah. on your website there and I, I mean, you have a very interesting background yeah. in um, performing arts. Mm -hmm. I think you did some sales. I can see them both, but yeah. definitely the sales. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, no, that, <laughs> actually, acting was my passion as a child, really? and I did a lot of stage. And um, it was actually my dream to move to LA and be an actress and things like that. Wow. Yeah, okay. so I did a lot of theater in Seattle, and then um, I also did. Um, a lot of recruitment and sales and um, different things like that. So my background's been a lot about the people. So for right. me, it's always been connected with, you know, other people and, you know, dr bringing people together. Right. And delivering so, good services. Yeah. Well, right. at the end and of the day. That's what I meant by the sales Yeah, part. yeah. That's right. Because <laughs> um, at the end of the day, for me, that's what any, any type of selling is really just a relationship. And, um, and I, I was really excited to, to actually get return back to Australia and begin what has been me getting to live my passion every day, which is help help other people and inspiring change, which right. is what I love doing. So, As, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I really want um, our viewers out there and the folks out there to know what you mean by success skills. Because mm. I'm yeah. sure um, people um, have their own idea or maybe don't know exactly what soft skills mm. or success skills are. Yeah. Let's talk about them. Yeah, Let's look, educate and these folks. It's a great question because I think a lot of people say, well, Maria, there's plenty of programs out there. What's so good about yours? What's so different about it? Mm -hmm. And I suppose the success of the program has been because of what we deliver within that program. And part of that is getting the understanding of who we are being when we're interacting with people. So for example, you get people that um, don't understand why they're not getting a job. And when you actually begin to look at how they're sitting or how they're communicating, because the communication of how we are in the world lands with people. So right. the response to pe from people with each other is absolutely based on what I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. So if I want to go out and get a job and I'm sitting like this, you know, what, what, am I, what are you going to see there? Are you going to say, geez, I want to hire this person? Because I'm going to tell you. Companies are hiring people with emotional intelligence. And what that means is you have self-awareness and social awareness. Right. So I know what my body language is going to do. Mm -hmm. So I know if I'm not making eye contact with you or if I'm fidgeting or if I'm sitting like this or I'm not even in rapport with you or connected to you, that right. you probably are not going to hire me. Absolutely not. This is the thing. People hire people that are like them. Right. And at the end of the day, when you go into a job interview, mm -hmm. you need to understand that that person needs to connect with you and like you. So I need to realize that if I'm sitting here like this mm -hmm. and turning my head like that or looking at my watch, it's not going to land well. And that's the challenge is that some people forget how we communicate is exactly the response we get. Wow. That yeah. is absolutely. It yeah. is. It's amazing. Yes, and it is. I mean, I've worked for, I've worked with people that have just the simplest thing to understand their physiology or how their body language can actually affect the communication. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. 
but it, underneath all of that, the big thing that shifts that is knowing what you value, what's important to you in life. Mm. Because if somebody, and these are huge elements to these soft skills or what we call the success skills, is that if I understand what my value is, then I'm going to go for that job because it aligns to that. Right. Right. Exactly. So if I value uh, security or if I value community, mm -hmm. then I want to be in a job that's going to give me that. That's, that's what right. I'm going to naturally look for. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if Absolutely. I go for a job interview and it's not going to give me those things, I'm most likely going to either sabotage or immediately pull away from that. So you've mm. got to think about what's that value and aligning it to that place of employment. That's right. You and know? what you're projecting. What yeah, you're that's ex out. absolutely. And Excellent. it's the same for employers is understanding what is it they want in their employee. Right. Not exactly. just hiring someone to fill right. the role, but to say, we want our values to align because it's a perfect match. That's right. Yeah. Now, you just mentioned employees and I saw Amy um, yeah. perk up mm. and um, mm. you folks yeah. know out there. I mean, Amy, this is her forte mm. in here. What I'm curious at what you have um, some addition to what she's talking about in terms of what employers look mm -hmm. for as well? I think that is so important because when it comes down to it, employers are just people like you and I, mm -hmm. and they're looking to fill positions that they need to provide the best product or service in the marketplace. So right. I think that's really exciting. And in the econundrums we did explore, you know, one of many econundrums is that, gosh, how can there be such a high unemployment and certain employers can't actually find the people they need? So what's going on? What is the mismatch? Mm -hmm. um, and I know for a fact, um, I've been to a lot of different conferences across the state and in the country, and that's an issue. So we really need to better respond to what employers are looking for. And I, I do. I, I work with em employers and recruiters a lot. And it's something in this state, especially, to take on an employee, there could be a perceived liability if that's not a good match. Mm. And so, I mean, they're looking for people, like Maria was saying, that, you know, they can feel comfortable around, that they can perhaps in an interview or in an informal networking situation that they can feel inspired and curious about what that prospective employee mm -hmm. does and knows. And if they can be a, a great person to be around, well, then they're going to want that person in front of their Absolutely. paying clients. That's right. Right? And it's really about being able to relate to the people that they want to bring on board. They need people to better run their business but they need to find that right match. Right. So mm -hmm. I do think this idea of, as what's been called soft skills, I know in Australia, you know, it's been referred to as life skills. And, you know, I love the idea of success skills oh, I love in the that United too. States. Um, because it's kind of like the hidden key to mm. why, you know, there's an opening, but the employer doesn't have sufficient confidence to bring that person on board because mm. they haven't connected through these soft skills or success skills. Right, exactly, mm. and that's a good point. Now let me ask you, because you're both mentioning some um, very key, key points here, but let me ask you both, like what are some of the most critical success skills that one could learn or Look, one could mm. benefit? Have, by having? Uh, for me, I really think the number one skill for any human being is rapport, is the ability to connect authentically. Mm. And when I talk about rapport, I'm not, fi I'm not talking about find something in common, because even finding something, something in common could actually not happen, because you and I, I mean, do we have things in common? We don't know, and we might find that we don't have things in common. Right. But rapport at but the rapport. deepest sense. You have me in common. Yeah. Well, right. that, well that's right. <laughs> yeah. We've got Amy. That's you know? right. Yeah. But the thing is, before I can find out what we have in common, I can actually begin with body language. Absolutely. And I can mm -hmm. actually match or mirror your body language. And here's the, here's the secret. When you look at people that are really connected, naturally your best friend, someone you are just so connected with, I'll guarantee you are sitting the same way and you're probably using similar words and there's probably a similar tone and you're probably breathing at the same rate. Mm. Now, all this stuff is happening very unconsciously. Mm -hmm. When you become aware of it, then you can apply it to the first time meeting. Right. So you can apply that to a networking function Absolutely. or to an interview Absolutely. or to any mm -hmm. conversation you need to have with anyone is begin to go into rapport with that person. And you can actually use it um, in a very subtle way. Mm. It's not an obvious way. Absolutely. And, and this is something we spend a lot of time in the Bounce program talking about rapport. 
for right. and actually using it, not just talking about it, but we, right. we implement it and take action on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the feedback we get from participants after they've learned that, it's, it's mm -hmm. been amazing because they come back and, oh, I've had the hardest conversation with a parent or a partner. They've had to have, you know, a, a conversation with their husband, their wife or significant other and they've actually come back and said, the conversation was fine mm -hmm. and using that skill set of rapport. Absolutely. So it's essentially really be becoming like the other person in right. so many ways. Yeah. You naturally do it with people that you're mm -hmm. connected with. Absolutely. Look how we're that's sitting. Right. That, well, that's right. That's right, exactly. And right. that is, that's what rapport, that's, I mean, Amy and I just oh. sort of. Right, well, you two are like right. two peas in a pod here. Are, I mean, the yeah. energy <laughs> is just off the charts. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> from but how amazing is that? We're from two ends of the world. Right, exactly. You know, I'm from a small country town in Australia and Amy's from. Worcester, Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester. Worcester. Right. You know? <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So we have completely connected and rapport is there naturally. Absolutely. So this is something you can take when you go into any interview. I love it. Any mm -hmm. meeting. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And it sounds like what you're talking about, I know what the term used to be is so, some, somewhat of like intangibles. Yes. Mm. You know, yes. the intangibles. Yeah. And just to build on that, just briefly is the skill set which is often invisible, listening. Mm -hmm. Listening, mm -hmm. absolutely. And it's really one of those things where you have an interaction with another human being and if you can be somebody who is genuinely, authentically interested in mm -hmm. what that other person is saying and you're receiving what they have to say right. and you're just being with it and you're smiling and being friendly, um, that person may walk away from the interaction having no idea why they adore you so much and right. they absolutely want to make a place on their team for you. Absolutely. And it may be quite subconscious mm. because you've sort of held the space for them to share and build rapport. Mm. Absolutely. And, and, you know, and the ability to respond to what other people are saying requires listening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we're just talking at people, we never quite get what's important to them. Mm. And then our words land you know, less effectively. Absolutely. Because we're not speaking into what's important to mm. them, and I think that's really important. And Great. to follow on with that, Amy, I'll tell you what's powerful about the listening is that it gets you out of your own head. Yes. Mm. So all Thank of your looking and all of your listening is over here so that I'm not here thinking about what am I going to say next, how am I going to mm. say that, that's what right. are they going to say. I'm not, I'm not prepping for my response. I'm actually really present right. and listening over there so that I can completely respond authentically to what's being given. Right. And that's going to automatically move people into rapport. And look, these things for some people, it's a huge world to start to talk about. Some people are so not conscious of their communication, right. their mm -hmm. body language. So it's a really powerful process to just stop and just say, okay, where am I at? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then you start to master the ability to connect with others. Great. Mm -hmm. Amy, actually, you I'm sure it didn't take a lot of arm twisting to get you to go down under to visit Maria and uh, witness some of the great work that she's doing over there with the Bounce Program. Right. But you want to talk a little bit about some of the key things that you came back with? I would love you? to. I would love to. First, one thing I want to say to the viewers is sometimes we don't understand why certain opportunities pop up in our lives. And it's one of those things, you know, I didn't necessarily have um, a plan around or a budget around, but I just say, you know what, this is a huge opportunity. I'm going down under. Right. So when and I you met, showed up. I showed up. I showed up. <laughs> That's and been our theme today. Yeah. Just show up. Absolutely. Yeah, show up. That's such a mm -hmm. key to success. Uh, is showing up and so I did um, August 1st through the 15th of this past summer 2012 I wow, jumped sweet. on a Qantas flight there and uh, landed down under Maria picked me up and there was just so many things in our schedule there for the two weeks but I'll just point out a couple of a key things that mm -hmm. happened I was really fortunate to actually visit the bounce program in action at different stages of the program wow. so I went to two actual career centers, um, what we would call career centers here in this country, and I was able to really be with the job seekers who were receiving this training and really ask them some pointed questions. I was going to just observe, but right. you know me, Henry, I get that, in there right. and all of a sudden I have all kinds of questions. So um, <laughs> You're getting I, into the mix. Absolutely, right in the mix. And I really wanted to know what was unique about the soft skills training that, you know, was, was different than other trainings they've had. I mean, these are people that for the most part, long-term unemployed and you know, this is like for them, oh gosh, it's another government program that I got to take. Mm. And when I really understood, I mean, I'll give you a couple of examples real quick. There was a young man, 24 years old, completely disengaged, really, you know, 
mad at the world. He felt like all these different paths were kind of cut off. Nobody cared. He didn't care. And there was something about the Bounce program where he got trained in really listening and tuning in, mm. building rapport with other people around him. And he got, I can make a difference. I can step up as a leader. Yes, right. I've had all these challenges in the past, but you know what? I could be an incredible role model, especially to young boys. And he sees himself as a mentor in youth development now. And now he's got his path. Nice. Um, just amazing. And there was a single mom, too, that, you know, she was really sort of strong-armed. Oh, gosh, another thing I got to do. I really, you know, I can't deal with this right now. But she's in the program, and she learned about how to communicate differently in the world and how to really be curious. And she didn't realize the connection, but the next morning she had an encounter with her six-year-old daughter in the bathroom. And normally when she would have gotten so upset, she just chilled out, backed off, and they were in total rapport, and the girl had, you know, the wow. best day at school. Okay. You know, so these are things that you don't even realize how the powerful. Impact, right, the powerful the impact. impact right. Um, so, I mean, that was at the, the career center level. Mm -hmm. I was also fortunate to actually um, be part of the interviewing process, bringing in new trainers, and that was awesome. So I got to be a part of four new trainers being interviewed, and mm -hmm. I even was... Um, one of my favorite parts of the whole trip was to be on top of this desk, and I was I was role playing <laughs> a very very difficult job seeker Not in a you. class. No, <laughs> I was so thrilled to have this role, and I'm banging on the desk. The whole idea was how is this trainer going to react yeah, right, if exactly. we were to bring right. her on yeah. board? As so that real time was a blast. experience. Yeah, that's and then right. finally um, regarding. The actual trainers, when I got to observe a group of trainers, gosh, there must have been, in fact, it was um, sort of a mix of people, including um, consultants, if mm. you will, at a career center. And they got to hear from Maria, and they got to hear the back end of this program and what made it so effective. Mm. Right. And really, they, these people who work directly with job seekers, they couldn't believe, like, what, is, what sort of magic powder is Maria sprinkling mm -hmm. such that her job seekers are you know, viewing this program so differently. What I want to ask you real quickly, because I noticed um, you put some play-by-play -play stuff on your blog, along with some photos. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I got a real laugh at was a photo of, I think you, I think you two were on your way out of <laughs> um, Victoria, yeah, is it? Yeah. And going into Melbourne or something, and you saw some sheep. Right. It's a and common theme where Mar a, Maria lives. Right, yes. okay. We, we actually live on a sheep farm in a vineyard. Okay. So, um, and what was this weird kind of... <laughs> well, coming from New England, I really wasn't sure if kangaroos were real. Mm -hmm. So Maria said, you know, um, I just want to point out that there happens to be a kangaroo standing in the midst of a herd of wow. sheep. Yeah, it, that blew me away. It's pretty cool because this little kangaroo has sort of uh, decided he wanted to be adopted by the sheep. Right. So he actually <laughs> lives with the sheep and mm -hmm. he thinks he's a sheep. So if you, we drove and took Amy up there and onto the paddock and he's there with the sheep thinking, I won't hop, I'll just sort of crawl along and they'll think I'm a sheep and right. they won't take me away. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he's still there to this day. Was he day. building rapport with the sheep? He was absolutely in rapport with the sheep. That is <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So um, thank you, Amy, for sharing that. And um, let me just ask a specific question on, you know, what or how can we here benefit from the Bounce program mm -hmm. um, for you bringing it from Australia here to Massachusetts? And across um, this country you know it's uh the effect that it's had on people that maybe have been forgotten mm. has been massive because those people now they've remembered who they are and they've gone on to make a difference mm. and some of the stories we could spend hours mm -hmm. talking exactly. about the stories the testimonials and i think that especially where things are right now for the u.s and it's a time of change and there are so many people that are unemployed yes you know and they have been forgotten and it's, it's about getting them in and understanding who they are in the world and how they can make that difference. Mm -hmm. Giving them those success, success skills, the life skills, the soft skills that are actually gonna make an impact on how they get that job. Not only that though, it's the employers having a sense of responsibility on how they communicate as well. Mm -hmm. And that's what the matching is all about. So it actually, it's putting the right people in the right job mm -hmm. so that everyone's gonna win. Right, yeah. that's great. Mm. That's great. You wanna add to that? Yeah, I would say, you know, there's a lot that we can do to capitalize on the existing public workforce system. 
Um, some folks aren't aware that, in fact, I wasn't either before I started working at Workforce Central Career Center in Worcester about three and a half years ago. Give a shout out to Worcester, Worcester. and the Career Center um, there. You know, we're one of 34 one-stop career centers in Massachusetts alone. They're all across mm -hmm. the country. We all report to the Department of Labor. So that's sort of the public workforce system where we're able to, you know, retrain and guide people to getting back to work and there's so much that we could do I'd love to see more of sort of business sponsorships on the private sector Absolutely. side partnering with the public workforce system and I see that you know everybody like you said it's, it's mm. really is a win-win but we have to figure out ways to perhaps we're thinking potentially and we're still you know, bouncing around, no pun intended, <laughs> ideas as or to, pun intended. I know, right? Um, <laughs> as to what this might look like in the United States. Um, but one of the things is, does it make more sense to potentially train the trainer? So to bring workforce professionals together from mm. one-stop career centers, community-based organizations, other nonprofits who mm. provide workforce programming, community colleges, which are certainly a key piece of our workforce Absolutely. development in the U.S., and then how does the private sector sort of work together? But I think if we can potentially train the professionals to then work on, you know, really communicating and disseminating this information, these trainings across the U.S., it could really create a really exciting Absolutely. rippling effect yeah. in the United that's States. A, that's mm -hmm. a great A new point. way of doing business. Mm -hmm. Because, again, Absolutely. regardless of who wins tomorrow, we need to all step up. We need to all be in this conversation right. of getting the nation back to work. Because what we've been doing, it hasn't been working so well. That's mm -hmm. right. Like I said, I mean, this is, we're, we're covering, uh, uh, you know, a huge issue in conversation in, mm -hmm. in, in just 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, so right. we, we won't even be right. able to begin to to touch the, the iceberg of sure. um, this, this type of issue. But at least mm -hmm. we're letting our viewers know and folks are, are across the country that this is a conversation that is um, that is happening in right. Massachusetts, mm -hmm. right? On a state level, um, you guys are meeting uh, with some state officials this week, and uh, this is I think this is a, a critical time, and I, I, I actually see this being uh, talk about success and success mm -hmm. skills. I mm -hmm. think this being a very successful program here mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. These soft skills, life skills, success skills, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's to empower people to be that much more effective right. in their job search. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that that is really exciting. It's, mm -hmm. it's not you have to get these skills, it's you get to have yeah, these skills. Yeah, and let's skills. remember it's for anyone from any walk of life. Right. I mean, let's face it, it's, it's for any human being that wants to be better in what they do. Right. And it doesn't matter where you are on that scale, That's anybody absolutely. can benefit from and, it. Yeah. And we work with a lot of highly qualified people who happen to be unemployed due to circumstances. Mm. Absolutely. They too can get so much mm. from this program. And we'll end with that. Thank you so much. Now, um, before we start wrapping up, or while we start wrapping up, again, I just want to thank you too again. Thank Welcome. you, Amy, for facilitating um, this whole process. You are the, the connector yeah. and the you don't only talk about it, you are about it. So uh, a huge shout out to you. And Maria, you. this has been awesome. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to doing um, more with you oh, in, yeah. in terms of this. And um, I totally believe in, in what mm -hmm. you're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, wish you the best this week in, in and your meetings with the state officials. Your website, if folks wanted to get yeah, to it, so, um, um, check it out. BounceLifeSkills.com. BounceLifeSkills.com. Yeah, yeah, and they can actually go there to find information about the program. We've got a lot of free downloadables, and um, we're always adding new content, free content as well. So okay. it's the place to go. And don't forget the book, folks, if you want. Um, you can check it out online. Yeah. Yep, the, the Guide, guide to getting, getting the Job yeah. You Want. She's the author of it. I would encourage you to check it out. It's an um, easy, fun read. It definitely I can say. is. Being the first person in the U.S. to have ordered right. the book, that's an easy, yeah. fun read. It's for all folks. about keeping it simple, and that's what it is. I have uh, a little special. Um, I again, I'm honored that we're one. Of, I'm one of the first stops on your tour of the United <laughs> States, so I wanted to give you uh, a little gift here. And. You open it up there. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, that's great. From Northampton, Paradise America. <laughs> Thank you. And then, since I, now that I know you're a uh, coffee drinker. Oh, nice that's oh, awesome. And it's so big. <laughs> Only in America do you have such big cups. I there love it. There you go. Thank you. So, thank you're you. welcome. You're welcome. And with that, um, I want to say thank you, the viewer, for tuning in. Thank uh, the NCTV staff, as always, for doing a wonderful job and the intern. You guys rock. Um, if you want 
to uh, send me any comments at spotlightingparadise at gmail.com. And I'll leave you with this. The difference between school and life. In school, you're taught a lesson and then given a test. In life, you're given a test that teaches you a lesson. Mm. Until next time on Spotlighting Paradise, peace and blessings and keep the faith. Mm.